I'm by now. So when are you going to take me out? You're crazy! I'm thinking that was that gorgeous. So that. the bag and then giving a reason like, yeah, you're, to you're have stuff. Like, you're curious mm, for the fact that... The like, curiosity, yeah. Before, we don't know what happened before yeah. the scene, but the fact you said, um... Uh, what did Miss Johnson say to you? Yeah. In a curious manner. Hi, my name is Aaron Fontaine, and I play the character Dwayne in Do You Know Where Your Daughter Is? I took the time at rehearsals to catch up with Miss Angela Moore, the writer and director of the play. I asked her what inspired her to write this play and the success so far during this tour. So what inspired you to write this play? What inspired me to write the play was just really from a point of view of talking to a young lady on a radio show and she said to me that she had, you know, experienced something quite difficult in her life and I just really felt that there was a voice that was missing for young women who needed to deal with different things like self-esteem, confidence and self-awareness and, you know, sexual problems and issues that don't always get discussed with young women. And so I thought, well, I'm going to write it in a play and some of the issues that I wanted to raise were situations about your daughter, do you know what your daughter really is and what they're really going through and I think this play has highlighted that. All the characters really are relevant, I think because, and I mean it's not all representative of all young girls, but there are just variations in characters. Carla in particular who is at that stage where she's in a dilemma between doing the right thing or going with her friends and kind of going down that road where we're not quite sure what will happen. And you know there's the um, character that Teresa plays, um, um, played by Tara, she plays a character whereby she is actually the goody girl, goody girl, you know, her dad, everything's her dad, her dad, her dad, my dad, my dad, my dad. And it kind of shows the importance of fathers in young girls in their lives because, you know, she says, my dad, my dad, and her dad sets the boundaries. You know, her dad is the first person that took her on a date, which is very important because then she'll know how to mark young boys by. And so that's a really strong character. And then you've got the confident characters in there and they're so varied and they kind of make up that friendship. Then there's Mickey, who is the character that people kind of go, oh, she's a bit sharp. But she's not just sharp because of nothing. She's sharp because she's had a difficult background. And she's had a troubled background in the sense that she hasn't spoken about it or dealt with it. And it comes out in ways that you'll see today. And on the streets, you see young people today, you think, oh, she's a bit off. But you don't question as to why. You know, they're not just born like that. And so the play for me really does do with a lot of different types of characters. I mean, the response has been fantastic. When we first did it at the Hackney Empire, it was just like I got this call, wrote this play, want to get it out there, did it at the Hackney Empire, we sold it for eight weeks. And every day I'd be looking at all these young girls and they were like, you know, what's this play, what's this play? And I just thought that was fantastic. You know, when you see young kids getting into a, a play and they're sitting there with their crisp and they're crunching, they're like, mm, I can't do that. Nah, man, they could never talk to me like that. And that's what you want. That's exactly what you want from theatre. And then we went to the schools and we, you know, Lucian Borough, who brought the actual play, went to the colleges and the feedback has been fantastic. When, when people say to me, who's it for? Who's it geisha? Who's it? I say everybody. If you know a daughter, you have to come and see it. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing Bernie Grant, we've got Edinburgh Festival booked. The only problem is we need more funding. And if there was ever a time we needed support, it was now. I mean, seriously now, because it could be a, a case that we don't get to go to Edinburgh. And I'm somebody that would always get on, do the show, make it happen. This is time where we need help, we need support. And when you talk about young people not doing things, this is young people. This is young people coming out to rehearsals for not getting paid. You know, they've done it and they've experienced a wonderful time. They've made friendships. They've been on it for about three, four years. And now is the time when we need to kick in and say, let's get behind our young people. Let's pack out the Bernie Grant Centre so we can raise the money to go to Edinburgh. If we don't do that, we can't go.